Let's start with the first exercise, the full upper body exercise. We're gonna do two sets of 30 second exercises with two sets of recovery, active recovery stretch. You want your feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, hips balanced, chin out. With this exercise, you're defining your biceps, triceps, and forearms. Shoulders are all engaged. Remember, six minutes with a shake weight burns as much muscle energy as 42 minutes with a standard dumbbell. Good job, keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Into the active butterfly recovery stretch. Good job, keep your breathing nice and steady. You want to switch hands with the shake weight from left to right. Let your muscles recover in this 30 seconds. Now you're just getting the blood flow all throughout your upper body, getting ready for the next set. Good job. All right, second set, you want to use the same stance in all these exercises. Feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, hips balanced. Good job. You should be feeling a really good pump by this point. Keep it going, intense strokes. Your shoulders are burning, biceps are burning, triceps are burning, forearms. Good job, come on Matus, keep it going. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and release into a butterfly active recovery stretch. Good job. Take this time to recover, regroup. Get the blood flowing. Switch hands with the shake weight from left to right. You're gonna do this for 30 seconds. You're gonna get the blood going all the way throughout your upper body, chest, shoulders, arms. All right, shake it off. Get ready for your next exercise. Good job. Now we're going to go into the second exercise, the single arm exercise. We're going to do two sets of 30 second exercises with two sets of active recovery also. We want to keep the arm in the L position. Upper arm is parallel to the ground. Forearm is vertical. Shake weight should be at an even plane. We're gonna use the same stance, feet shoulder width apart, knees bent, balanced at the hips. As you can see, biceps are activated, triceps and the forearms. Keep the shake weight going, keep the momentum going. Come on, you can do it. Good job. Now we're gonna go in the active recovery stretch. Arm all the way up, all the way back down. Let your muscles relax, get the blood going. Get ready for set number two. Good job, keep your breathing nice and steady. You want your hand all the way up to the top, all the way down, like a little shoulder press stretch. Bring it all the way down. Now you wanna do this two sets of 30 second intervals on your active recovery stretching. This allows you a chance to get recovered into your next exercise. Now we wanna switch hands, go onto the left hand, do the single arm exercise on the left side. 30 second set again, same stance. You want your arm in the L position. Keep the shake weight at an even plane. Good job, Matus. Keep it going. As you see, his bicep is now activated, triceps, forearms, shoulders also are included. You want to decrease the wobble, keep it nice and steady with good strokes. Remember, a slight shake will energize your bicep muscle, creating as much as 240 reps per minute. Good job. Now you want to do this active recovery stretch to let your arm recuperate, get ready for the next exercise. Stretch all the way to the top, all the way down to the bottom. You want to do this for 30 seconds. Allow your muscles to recuperate, get your blood flow going, get ready for the next exercise. You want your hand all the way up to the top, all the way down, like a little shoulder press stretch. Bring it all the way down. Good. Shake it off all the way. For the third exercise, we're gonna do the reverse tricep exercise. We're gonna start off with your left hand over your right. We're gonna use the same stance, feet shoulder width apart, knees bent, hips balanced. As you can see, you're gonna start engaging the triceps. They're gonna start really burning at this point. And you, your, your stomach, his core is also activated at the same time, but we really wanna concentrate on your triceps right now. You're gonna feel a big burn in your triceps. Good job, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, into the active recovery stretch. Give your muscles a chance to relax, get the blood going. Good job, keep your breathing nice and steady throughout this whole process. 
You want to do this for 30 seconds. Allow your muscles to recuperate. Get your blood flow going. Arch your arms all the way to the top, all the way down. Switching the shake weight from left to right. Now you're just getting the blood flow all throughout your upper body. Getting ready for the next set. For the second set, we're going to put your right hand over your left, doing the same reverse tricep exercise. We're going to use the same stance, feet shoulder width apart, knees bent, hips balanced. Engaging your triceps. At this point, you're going to be really fatigued. you got to get really going on this one. Come on, Matus. Really burn the triceps. Good job. You should be feeling a really good pump by this point. Keep it going in 10 strokes. Feel the burn? You got it? Come on, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and good. Into the active recovery stretch. Arch your arms all the way to the top, switching the shake weight from left to right. You're gonna do this for 30 seconds. By the end of the three exercises, you'll be feeling a really good pump. You're building your definition, your muscle, all in your shoulders, biceps, and triceps. For a more challenging and advanced workout, you can try the full upper body burnout. On this one, you're using the same stance as before, same technique. You're just gonna go until your body's completely fatigued. Keep it going, fast, efficient strokes. Good job. Keep it going, come on. Now you're going as fast as you can, as hard as you can, until your body can't take it anymore. Activating your core, your shoulders, your triceps. You've already done the three previous exercises, so by this time, you're just giving it all you got. Keep it going. Now you're completely pumped. As you can see, my tooth right here. Keep it going, come on. Almost there. Good job, let's go. Keep that pump going, come on. Let's go, just a little bit longer. Keep it going. Good job, good job. For the next advanced exercise, we're doing intense ab crunch. We're gonna be in a seated ab position, feet up in the air, moving the shake weight from left to right. Nice, efficient, fast strokes. This is an intense burnout. You wanna to go to fatigue, moving the shape weight from left to right. It's activating your abs, your upper body, your chest, your triceps. It's all inclusive. This is a very advanced movement and you're gonna, you're gonna burn out. Keep it going. Good job. As you can see, the abs, are, the abs are firing, the shoulders are, the biceps, the triceps. Legs are actually going too. Lower abs, come on, keep it going. A little bit longer. Left to right. Good job. Nice. Good work. For the third advanced exercise, we're gonna do the trunk exercise. We're using the same stance as before, only this time we're gonna have your knees slightly more bent so you activate the whole core using your obliques, activating your legs, your abs, your chest, and your shoulders. Everything's firing away right now. You're going from side to side, left to right, right to left for 30 seconds. Keep it going, good job. As you can see, his abs are activated, his obliques are working, shoulders, triceps, and forearms. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. You just built more muscle and definition of your upper body with the shake weight.